My name is Billy Allen. Um, I'm 44 years old and I've spent the last 25 years on federal death row for a crime I didn't commit. When you're innocent, you think the justice system is gonna work. So I had been pulled over, you got, your, you got your wrong person. It was a shock, but I felt that justice would prevail, which it did. I've never asked anyone to believe that I'm innocent. You know, I've always asked people to let me show you. I was shopping at a shopping mall at the time the crime took place. So a witness came forward and told the, you know, told the FBI that at the time that the crime was taking place, he saw me at the shopping mall talking to people with clothes that I had bought that morning, but it was never presented at my trial. I didn't know what to expect. I knew I wasn't going to get a fair trial. I knew that from the beginning. You also look at the gasoline reports. You know, they were done because the getaway van was soaked in gasoline, and the government's own forensic expert testified that whoever was in this van would have had gasoline on their clothes. But when they tested Holder's clothes, all of his came back positive. When they tested my clothes, they came back negative. They claimed that they took notes of this alleged confession. They said I demanded to confess to this crime. But yet there's no recordings, there's no video, there's no signed statement, there's nothing showing that a confession ever took place. I've been asked for DNA testing for 25 years. If the jury knew about this DNA, would they have voted the same way? I think not. Look, if you're gonna kill me, you're going to show society that you killed the innocent person. Well, Yvette, thank you for being here. Thank you so much for having me. Well, I'm sorry that you need to be. Now, Billy tells you to rest, to get on with your life. You can't do that. Tell me what keeps burning so hotly in, in your mind and heart about this. You know, of course, um, I don't want to see my brother um, executed. I love my brother. Um, but what really fueled me to continue this fight for my brother for over 25, almost 26 years, is um, the fact that he's innocent and he has evidence to prove it. He has DNA evidence. There's gasoline reports. There's alibi witnesses that was never presented in his case. Okay, so their getaway car was a van. Yes. Okay, now... Kind of like people see in the movies, they wanted apparently to destroy uh, any DNA evidence, so they were going to burn this van. So they, whoever did this, um, had pre-soaked the van in gasoline. What happened to the van? It exploded. Before it was supposed to. Yes. Something ignited it, and so whoever was involved was soaked in gas. Yes. And then one person, Norris, was arrested. Mm -hmm, at the crime scene. Right. And the other uh, supposedly ran in to the woods, but they were scorched. Yes. When Billy was arrested the next morning, I assume that they found him scorched and hair burned and all of that. That didn't happen, though, did it? That did not happen. You say he had an alibi, and... He was actually at a shopping mall, right? Yes. And there wasn't one witness. There were multiple witnesses, right? He, people, they remember him being there. Yes. He, he actually purchased multiple items. Um, and he asked the um, officers to go back and look at cameras to prove that he was actually at the mall at the time. Uh -huh. um, and also the security guard witness, which is the alibi, um, who spoke, uh, mentioned to the FBI that um, Bill was at the mall at the time of the crime. Let's be honest, was your brother a thug? Absolutely not, absolutely not. My brother, um, you know, you know, they mentioned that in the courts, but that's not who he was. My brother was, um, you know, a lot of people don't know because we didn't grow up in the best community, but we went to some of the best schools. Bill was surrounded by some of the brightest people and, um, no, he was a great person, not yeah. a thug at all. They actually uh, tried to um, find witnesses, character witnesses that would speak negatively about him, um, and they couldn't find anybody. Okay. So he doesn't have a history of this kind of thing. He didn't have any of this kind of evidence on him when they found him, and he had an alibi. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.